Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Hashtag Now Smoking. I'm Gary Korb, Executive Editor for CigarAdvisor.com. And this week, we are going to be smoking the San Latano Dominicano by A.J. Fernandez and Hochi Blanco. This is a collaboration in which A.J. and Hochi got together. A.J. provided the Nicaraguan tobaccos for the blend and Hochi the Dominican. And we'll get more into the backstory on the cigar. But we did review the cigar for CigarAdvisor.com. We did a panel review. So here I am doing it again solo. So let's see if my opinion shifts at all. So let's, let's get right to it. Got our cutter here. And this week I'm definitely using the right cutter, I can tell you that. This has a beautiful uh, cap on it. It's a triple seam and the rolling is just about seamless. I mean, I can't even see the seams in this roll. The color of the cigar is beautiful, beautiful wrapper. I believe it's a Brazilian wrapper. And let's see. Well, it doesn't smell like anything, you know. But this smells good. I got a nice kind of a leathery and a hay note in there. It's Okay, so let's cut it. Oh yeah, very nice. Cap came right off, it's a beautiful cap. Look at that, nice and round, like a little circle. You like that? And the cigar feels really good too. There are no soft spots at all. There's a nice sheen to it. Let's see how it lights. At least when I'm inside here, I can see what I'm doing, you know? We're going to get a nice, even light on this cigar. And notice that I'm not really that close to the flame. It's a, it's a quad flame lighter, and you just have to be a little patient. And look at that, it's lighting up really nice. One more shot. Ooh. It tastes very good. It's kind of earthy. A little peppery. Well, pretty tasty. It's, it's, um, it's not sweet. It's um, kind of earthy, like I said, a little bit peppery. It's really too early to tell uh, what's going to happen here. So let's wait till we get down to the first inch and then we'll really know what's going on. Okay, so we're down to the first inch on this beautiful San Latano Dominicano from AJ Fernandez and Hochi Blanco. And I got to tell you, as I've been sitting here, I noticed the beautiful oily patina on this wrapper it's just gorgeous it really is it's it's beautiful it's oily it's nice so let's find out a little bit about this cigar uh, this is a cigar that uses tobaccos grown by both Fernandez and of course um, Pochi Blanco it's named for Fernandez's San Latano farm which is in Nicaragua and it was also one of Fernandez's first cigar brands so if you're a follower of AJ Fernandez then uh, you must be smoking the San Latano a long time. Um, this is the first time that AJ has worked with a third party, according to the article here in Tobacco Business. And it says here that it's the first time it's been made outside of his Nicaraguan factory. So Hochi actually made the cigar, even though they blended it together, they did it in the Dominican Republic, that's where they had it made. And Hochi does wonderful stuff. And let's talk about the blend. It has a Brazilian wrapper, as I said, Dominican binder and fillers from so it's, you know, Nicaragua and Dominica. <laughs> and of course, we know that the tobaccos came from AJ's farm and uh, Hochi's farm, respectively. This is a Robusto. It's a 5x50. It also comes in a Toro, which is a 6x50. There's a box press torpedo. And then there's a the, uh, Gordo, which is a 6 and a quarter by 60 and um, what, what is interesting also about this is that it says here, the news of this collaboration came out in late 2018. The cigar was originally to be launched in January of this year, but it was delayed to allow the cigars to undergo additional aging to enhance 
their quality. So I'll tell you, this is really, really nice. This is the third one I've had, and it's the best of the three so far. The draw is a little tight. It's a good draw, but it's not just smoke pouring out of it. And I think that's really helping the cigar a little bit too. It's, I mean, it's, you'll, you'll see here. I'm getting a good volume of smoke. You know, the, the smoke flows easily, but because it, it feels just a little snug, I think it's keeping some of those um, peppery notes and stuff that I've gotten from the last two sort of in check. And I'm getting a more of a balanced kind of a flavor out of the cigar. So I'm getting mostly, you know, again, the earthiness. It's kind of spicy. And it's just really, really beautiful cigar. And I like the fact that they have the uh, secondary band here. It says AJ and Hoji on it, you know. And um, the band, the, the, the main band is beautiful too. I love the colors and it really looks nice against that Brazilian wrapper. And look at this ash. It's nice and firm. It's mostly kind of like a dark gray with some black spots, of course. And um, it's, Burn is fine, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Retro hail is nice, it's smooth, it's spicy, but it's not overpowering. I also think that uh, what I like about this cigar is it's really giving me a lot of nice, smooth creaminess, and it's, I'd say at this point, it's medium body. So I think this is more of like a medium plus full cigar. But um, I'm enjoying it. And it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. So hey, you know. Yeah, it's really good. All right. so. That's uh, pretty much what we've got in the first act. Let's see what happens when we get down to the second act. All right, we're down to the second band, which says AJ and Hoji. So we've got to get this thing out of here. And it's a lot of heat under there, and it's peeling right off. Okay, look at that. It's very nice. All right, I think John Pulo said it looks like a wedding cigar, you know, like AJ and Hoji. You know. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure they like each other very much. Now... Let's see what's going on here in the second act. Well, I'll tell you, it's very, very creamy, very smooth, and I'm getting a little note of coffee in there. Uh, the pepper is very, very light. Uh, I'd say it's more like, more like a spiciness than a pepperiness, and there's a difference. You know, if it's peppery, I usually consider that hot, you know, and, and, and bothersome to me. If it's spicy, it's kind of like, you know, having, uh, like, say, um, some Tabasco sauce on your eggs or whatever, you know. It's just, uh, just a different kind of spice, different kind of heat. Yeah, a really nice smoke volume. And I'm getting some sweetness, too. Uh, it's, it's all starting to come together now, and I think I'm really enjoying this one, uh, probably the most of the three. And what's interesting is, like I said, this is the third one I've had, and they've all been a little different. Now, I don't know if it was the time of day, I don't know if it was the cigar, but I think when you're dealing with a handmade product, um, as much as they try to get everything as equal as possible, it's just not possible. And some cigars may have a little bit more Lajero, may have a little bit more Seiko, you know, uh, but just a little bit because, you know, the factory workers especially at a factory like Hoshi's, I mean, you know, they're, they're pretty good. So still, you never know what cigar is going to taste differently than the one before it. And I don't know if they, they may vary box to box, you know, but as long as they get it in the zone, and I think they have, I mean, this is definitely very much like the other two, but it's just, for me today, it's just a lot creamier. It's uh, not as peppery. It's, uh, I'm getting more notes out of it. I'm getting that, that nice cream. I'm getting that coffee note. I'm getting that sweetness. So this is really holding up nice. And the Brazilian wrapper is just absolutely gorgeous. And I like it. The retrohale, too, is just 
really creamy, really nice. It goes great with my coffee here. And all I can do right now is just admire it, I'll tell you that. Uh, the ash is really nice. Uh, during the break, the ash came off. The first ash was about an inch. So it does have some gravity-defying ash to it. And um, it's still holding up firm. Uh, it's not cracking. You know, just, I mean, at this point, it's, it's basically a perfect cigar, you know? Yeah, it's just really tasty, you know? I mean, it, it, is, it is spicy in the sense that if you like a cigar, you know, if you like Nicaraguan cigars, you're going to get that nice Nicaraguan earth in there, and you're going to get a, a nice mix of that Dominican. I, I don't know what tobaccos specifically they used. Um, there might be some Pilato Cubano in here. I mean, you know, given it that sweetness and the wrapper, uh, the Brazilian wrappers tend to be sweet. But I uh, just want to get the price for you here. This, this cigar, this Robusto, uh, at famous-smoke.com, you can buy a box at this time for $153.99, and uh, five packs go for about $38.99. Um, so it's very reasonably priced, if you ask me. I mean, it's, it's, it's very well made. And, you know, these two guys, Hochi and AJ, have great reputations. So if you're not that familiar with them and you want to give it a shot, uh, you can pretty much put your faith in the fact that it's going to be very well made and it's going to taste pretty good. So. All right, well, Act 2 is a big success. Let's see what happens in Act 3. All right, we're in Act 3, and I'm just really, really enjoying the cigar. It has a really nice cone shape. It's burning beautifully. Uh, I've got a couple of nice thick ashes here. They're nice and firm. They don't break up very easily. And uh, it's, it's still very creamy. It's still very smooth. I'm still getting a nice volume of smoke. The draw is loosened up a little bit. This is a pretty well-packed cigar. We have a lot of tobacco in here. And um, just, um, just having a great time with it, you know? That's the one thing that is consistent about it is this is a very earthy, spicy cigar. It's, it's not really a sweet cigar, but it's very consistent and is it complex? I'm not really sure. Smoking it in the morning, I usually get a better bead on that if I'm smoking it later in the day. Uh, maybe pairing it with uh, like some liquor, like a bourbon or a rum. Uh, maybe a port. I think this would go good with port, actually. You might, um, you might get some of that sweetness that you're not getting from the cigar, from the uh, pairing from the port. And I think it actually would be pretty good. I'd like to try that. You know, the retrohale, I'll tell you, there, that was just smooth and clean. There was like no pepper. I didn't get really much flavor out of that, but it was nice and smooth. It's just burning really beautifully. Yeah, you know, still getting a lot of that coffee flavor. A little, maybe a little leather in there. Uh, the wrapper is nice and leathery, I can tell you that. It still has that beautiful sheen to it. It's just really nice. It's getting a little hardier now. I'd say this is really now in the full range. It's definitely medium plus to, you know, even full at this point down here at this uh, juncture. Uh, I haven't had to relight it at all. It's burning beautifully. Ooh, okay. That was interesting. It's got a nice little, um, kind of like almost like a hickory note through that retro hail. That was cool. Really, really nice. And look at that, how that nice ash is forming. It's really, really good. Top quality construction. Really nice balance. Uh, they did a really good job on this. Uh, I would say this is really probably more for an experienced smoker. Uh, I, I wouldn't um, 
I wouldn't keep a new cigar smoker from trying this cigar, but I think this might be a little advanced for someone who's just starting to get into uh, premium handmade cigars, but it is nice and smooth. So let's keep it going and we'll see what happens when we get down to that nub. Yeah, baby. All right, we're down to, oh, I guess about the last two inches and look at that ash. That is really, really nice. It has a nice cone. And uh, let's see if it holds up here while I shape it. And I got to tell you, you know, like I said um, when I was reading the article here about the cigar, it said that, you know, it's the first time that, you know, uh, AJ has worked with a third party. Now, he has made cigars for other people. We know that he's made some cigars for Famous Smoke Shop and you can really see what a great collaboration, or I should say taste, what a great collaboration this was between Hochi and uh, AJ. They're both masters at their craft. Um, Hochi knows Dominican like nobody else. He's also made some great cigars uh, with other people. And um, of course, um, most, most people are more familiar with AJ, but um, I remember writing an article about Hochi for Cigar Journal. And uh, it's amazing the people he's worked with. Uh, Lito Gomez and uh, Emma Victorson, who does Frasia cigars, and you know, his, his, uh, his cousin, who's also Jose Blanco. Uh, they have the same name. So Hochi goes by Hochi, and Jose goes by Jose. <laughs> but, uh, and look at this. I'm getting down to the Lajero here in the middle. Look at that. There it is. There it is, look at that. It's just really, it's perfectly rolled. And uh, they really picked some great tobaccos from each of their farms to make this thing absolutely terrific. So let's see how we're doing here. Well, you know, I'm getting a little more sweetness at this point. It's still kind of earthy. I'm still getting some pepper on the finish. Uh, it's still creamy, and you know what? It hasn't really turned bitter. Um, down here to what? Look, look at this. And it's just really still smooth and creamy, and that's another really nice asset that this cigar has. And I just, I just kind of like playing with this thing here. Let's see what we can do. All right, get it down to the real core. Yeah, look at that. See, that's the Lajero. That's the slowest burning tobacco, and that's why it's always at the center of the cigar. And they got it perfect. It's right there. Say it. Mm. Wow. I mean, like, I'm down to like just over an inch. And it's still really tasty. Very well balanced. Beautiful cigar. Really well made. Pochi Blanco. AJ Fernandez did a wonderful job. San Lotano Dominicano. You remember that because it rhymes. <laughs> and a beautiful presentation. So remember, you can buy these cigars at famous-smoke.com. This cigar is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to keep smoking it. Thanks for watching. Hashtag now smoking. Make sure to check out cigaradvisor.com. We'll see you next time. And happy smokes.